AJ and Cena had another interaction last night. AJ wanted to address Cena and C Nation to tell him everything he didn't like about him, ask him why is he still here, and Cena cut a very Cena-esque promo talking about how much he loves this place, We've this heard place this. is his life. Yada yada, hit the, hit the, hit the playback button. Yeah. <laughs> uh, won the crowd over, obviously, because he put the kids over, he put the parents over, he put over all of his outside interests. I did like, though, that he said all these things I do, you know, the Tonight Show, Jimmy Kimmel, whatever all he said, I love when people ask me, oh, now you made it mainstream, John, when are you going to quit WWE? And I love to look them in the eye and tell them, never. This is what I love to do. That was the one part of the promo I really, really did like. Did you get goosey pimples? A little bit, because it's like that, because I believe it. I think it's true. I think he shows that. And I love, my favorite part of the whole promo, though, was (laughs) Cena goes on and on and on, you know, whipping the crowd into a frenzy, this feel-good promo. And then AJ just... (laughs) <laughs> I knew that's what you were going to say. That's his, his response. I knew that's what you were going to say, John. Like, just completely diminishes yeah. the whole thing. He, he barely said it because, you know, he says the, he says the same thing all yeah. the time. It's nothing new. He, he says exactly it so many times. It's the same exact promo he did on The Rock. He did it on Brian. He does it to everybody. Yeah, but I loved a- AJ's mannerisms as a heel are so great. The golf clap? The golf clap was great. Um... His response to that whole... I mean, it was like a, a yeah. seven-minute promo. He just, I knew you were going to say that. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of way just to... Like, oh, I, I teed it up for you to say that. You did exactly... See, I know exactly you, John. Exactly what was going to happen. And so, even something about the way he calls him John, I think, is great. John. <laughs> um, no, uh, I thought it was a great promo by both guys. I love the way the he story. ended it, too. Yeah, that after SummerSlam, when I beat you, yeah. you're going to have to come out here... And say that I'm better than you. If you if you don't, you're a liar. And if you do, you're a loser. Either way, I win. Either way, I win. And he walks out. And then he said, I'm in your head. So we know Bray Wyatt was once in John Cena's head. It didn't do Bray Wyatt a whole lot of good. I really hope it does AJ Styles some good. Because I feel like... The soccer mom? Yeah, he ne- I feel like he needs to win. Well, we invented that chant in D.C. <laughs> soccer mom, you're right. We invented that. <laughs> okay. What are you, Kevin Owens? <laughs> I, I don't know. Does... Is there any way AJ Styles wins at SummerSlam? He's winning. He has to win. He has to win. I think he has to win, too. Because Cena's not going to be there all the time. Because I don't know if you saw, American Grit got picked up for Cena, Yeah, I too. did. So, Cena's not always going to be there. AJ needs it a lot more. And I, I don't see why. But since when has that mattered? Yeah, I know. It needs to That's matter. That's the problem. New era. <laughs> you got, you're putting Finn Balor over. You're putting Finn Balor making him important. You're, re, you're, you're rejuvenating Dolph Ziggler. You're bringing all this new talent from NXT. This is the perfect time to put somebody over. Yeah. We say this every time with Cena. This is the one time it has to happen. Cena, if he loses the feud, it will not hurt him at all. Yeah. He's still John Cena. Well, that's... His appearance is on Good Day. That's how I feel. That's how I felt about Dean Ambrose and Brock Lesnar at WrestleMania. Dean Ambrose was going to be there on Monday, and Brock Lesnar wasn't going to be back till SummerSlam. But it didn't work out that way. I hope it works out that way, but I just... I don't know if I've just been so conditioned, but... I think that are indoctrinated by WWE that John Cena is always going to win. I just feel like he is, but in this case, say, you don't have a lot of hair. You haven't conditioned it. All <laughs> I, but I, gotta, I condition the beard. Oh, okay. there you go. I can tell. It looks funny. <laughs> by the way, I got I got to add to AJ just to, just destroying the babies, the babies. <laughs> and these dumb kids or whatever he said. <laughs> and the other thing I popped for was we said everybody delusional. All 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 these people are delusional. Especially people in Nashville, Tennessee. Yeah, I, I know. Because that's where TNA <laughs> yeah. is from. He so, said, it's the weakest city I've ever been to, and yeah. I know. Yeah. I thought that was awesome. Yeah, I did too, though. That's what TNA headquarters is. Yeah. All I can hear in my head is Dixie calling him, calling him saying, <clears throat> AJ, sugar, <laughs> w- were you talking about the company again? <laughs> can you not do that, please? Thank you. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm sure Dixie wasn't didn't love it, but I did. I loved it As I'm too. sure both of you did. Yeah, I I, I'm, I'm glad I you brought that up because I didn't. I, I did not have that. that written down, but that was awesome. That was in all caps in my notes. Yeah, I had. <laughs> <laughs> I popped some. <laughs> <in all caps. laughs> 